Now, Friday Night Football, sponsored by Martin Supermarkets. Well, what a difference a week <laughs> makes from the heat last week to... To the chill this week, and even had a Facebook post saying the rain was coming down pretty good in Napanee for the game there. So I knew there would be a few spots that would get those showers, unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, it hasn't been, you know, really bad yet. You'll, you'll get us one of these weeks, I know. All right, it's week four of Friday Night Football, one of the biggest games of the season in the Northern Lakes Conference as undefeated Plymouth hosted Northridge tonight in our Martin Spotlight Game of the Week. One year ago, Plymouth beat Northridge. 35 to 19 en route to winning the NLC regular season title. Down to the rock pile where everyone feeling proud to see the red, white, and blue on this 14th anniversary of 9-11. Northridge's QB taken out early in the game with a leg injury. Xavier Miller in for him and throws the touchdown pass to Bryce Johnson. The lead doesn't last long with the Rockies punching it in from the one. And we're tied at seven. Plumes Jack Barron launches one to Cam Cleveland then into the end zone. Double coverage, and he still gets it. What a grab by Cam Evelyn. 15-7, Plymouth. Start of the fourth quarter, the mental lapse of the day. Rockies punt the ball. It just sits there, and, well, everyone, including our photographer, figures this play is done, except Bryce Miller picks it up and goes all the way in for the touchdown. Meanwhile, uh, we want to give our thoughts and prayers to Dalton Slayball of Northridge taking out after being badly injured in an ambulance, again, we are our thoughts and prayers remain with him. Meanwhile, Plymouth finishes the game with Barron to Nate Nixon for the touchdown. Plymouth stays undefeated with the 36 to 13 win. I'm very impressed with Tom and his players. They played really, really hard. They lost their starting quarterback really early, and they battled. So that's a sign of a great program. But I'm really proud of our kids. They played really hard. They're a very physical team. Um, we felt we had to come out, match their physicality, and then um, from there we had to keep chugging away. I think we used our one-way players against their two-way players and uh, just wore them down. So Plymouth now 4-0, 2-0 in the NLC. Concord moves to 3-0 in the league play after a 27-7 win over War Wallasey. Goshen shooting for a 2-0 league start and 4-0 overall. The Skins and second-year coach Kyle Park a Goshen legacy on the road at Northwood. Second year Panthers coach Nate Andrews, a Northwood legacy. Goshen's D has been good this year. They recover the fumble in the first quarter, but special teams a bit of a problem in the first half. Northwood blocks the punt, great field position, leads to an easy touchdown for Panther quarterback Bronson Yoder. Now here's the real positive for Goshen. We left. Goshen rallies to win 20 to 14. They are now 4 0. WNDU falls to 0 and 4 in catching a single Goshen touchdown. So far this year. Finally, in the NLC tonight, Memorial welcoming Warsaw to Elkhart. The Tigers, Rob Sullivan in for the second quarter touchdown. Warsaw leads 24 14, but the Charger faithful trying to rally their guys, and they would. Zach Hawkins to Bryce Rickey. Memorial wins 42 13. It's the first win of the year for the Chargers. Let's move over to the Northern Indiana Conference now, where undefeated Penn put its 26 game regular season win streak on the line against a top team from Michigan. Penn at home taking on Orchard Lake, St. Mary's. St. Mary's won state last year in Michigan's Division III classification. We got there in the second half, 21 14 St. Mary's. Camden Bone trying to march the Kingsmen back, instead, fumbles and recovered by Kofi Bashir. Ensuing drive. St. Mary's caps it off with a field goal, and it's 24 14. So Penn is down 10 points as we head to the fourth. Bone gets it into the end zone. Penn has life down 24 21. But under two minutes to go, third down for St. Mary's. They get the first down, and they put this game away. The Kingsmen lose their first regular season game since September of 2012. Their 26-game win streak is over. Mishawaka back at home, taking on Adams and an ugly game for the Cavemen. First offensive possession for Mishawaka. Luke Shively catches the screen, tries to make some guys miss, then loses the ball. Recovered by James Shell. Adams takes over. Two plays later, Andrew Burgess, play action fake, hits Brandon Wadley, 59 yards. Adams goes up 7 0 early. Then, after Wadley gets an interception, Burgess finds him again for another touchdown, 14 0 in the first six minutes. Mishawaka had five turnovers in the half, and Adams wins 14 7. Adams 
first win over Mishawaka in more than a couple decades. After falling 41 0 to Marion last week, St. Joe trying to bounce back tonight on the road at Clay. The Indians do just that. They score 34 points in the first half, unfortunately, before we got there. Here's the positive on the night for Clay. They avoid being shut out, but this was all St. Joe. Indians win 34 14. Well,